This morning's Coffee With is with DJ Caruso. The satellite interview is furnished by Paramount Pictures. DJ, welcome to WJZ. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Well, we're doing really well. Hey, um, first off, I want to apologize to the audience. I have my hand under the desk because the plug that connects this earpiece weird. Is, is weird. The only way I can hear DJ is if I hold it down. I have a question for you that's kind of inside Hollywood, if you would, please. Okay. We have, we have a lot of singers on the show. One in particular, Mesa Leek, one of the finest smooth jazz singers on the planet. She said, any more these days, records just sell concert tickets. Any more these days, do movie theaters just drive people to the Blu-ray, and is that where the profit is? Uh, no, I think it, uh, I think what's interesting is in the, in the movie business in the past few years, the globalization of cinema has sort of exploded, and so now the theatrical release, not just in North America but all over the world, is really where you generate most of the the revenue for the movies. And so it's really the Blu-ray DVDs, of course, are very strong, uh, not as strong as they were maybe say you know eight or ten years ago. But it's just an ancillary revenue stream and just a great way for people uh, to see the to see the movie because everyone's TVs have improved, their Blu-rays, their home theaters, their sound, and so people have now brought sort of this experience into their home, but. Still Still, as far as a business standpoint goes, it's the global box office of everything that happens all over the world now. It's not just North America. Does that mean you invest more in terms of the world premiere, like the press tour in the other countries? Yeah, well, well absolutely, and particularly in our case, when you have you know, uh, Deepika, who's a huge Bollywood star, and you have Donnie Yen, who's very big in China and Asia. We had premieres um, all over the world, basically. We had a premiere in London. We had a premiere here in Hollywood. We had a premiere in Beijing. We had a premiere in Mumbai. So you're kind of, you treat the, you treat the movie. It, it's really all global now. And, and even in my, you know, 20 years in the, in the movie business, it's changed so much. It's really exciting to see that, like, the world has shrunk because of all the digital media and, uh, and cinema as well has become sort of this universal thing that we all share. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fun doing these premieres all over the world and seeing the different reactions you get to your picture as well. Okay, one more real quick question inside the ropes, if you would allow us. Does that mean when casting a project, you may think to yourself a little more globally? Like I do need an actress oh, yeah, from absolutely. Hollywood or I do need a, a, a Jackie Chan or you know where I'm, what I'm talking about. Well, no, I, th I think, you, you know, th those thoughts definitely would cross your mind. In our case, it sort of organically just happened because we knew we wanted to reintroduce sort of Xander Cage and Vin Diesel as Xander Cage into the world. And we said, well, what would uh, uh, Augustus Gibbons, Sam Jackson's character, be doing for all these years? And we said he would, uh, as, as Xander was sort of out and hiding out, he'd have to build this triple X team. And then we thought... Not, not really from a business standpoint, just creatively like, well, let's make this more global than just an American story. And that really opened up uh, you know, the menu and the canvas for us to kind of pull different characters. And I've been a, a huge fan of the Ip Man series and Donnie Yen is one of my sort of martial arts heroes. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if we can bring a character like that in? And then I had seen, uh, uh, Deepika had done an audition uh, with Vin on one of the Fast movies a couple of years ago. And I had seen that audition, her agent had sent it to me. And I thought she and Vin had this incredible chemistry. And so then we thought to bring Deepika in as well. And we wrote a character for her. And so it happened organically, but I will, you know, as you can tell in, in all the recent movies, I think it is something that comes across the studio's mind and the filmmaker's mind. And, and by the way, that's just the way the world is now, particularly living here in Los Angeles. Every ethnicity, every, every group, and every type of person you can come across is in your everyday life, so why not make movies with all those people in them? And that's, that's I think, the sort of uh, how, we've got, how we're getting to where we are, uh, we've arrived now in movies. About 30 seconds left, quick question. You, you go look at the, the Blu-ray, maybe throw it in for 15, 20 minutes. You revisit the movie. Does it, does it bring you back all the great memories of being on the set? <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, what happens is I always say, like, when you, when you get your final premiere and you, you feel like you're sending a kid off to college, you want to just take a little bit of a break <laughs> for a while. And then you come back and you, <laughs> and you go back and you look at the Blu-ray and you hear the music and you see the things and you kind of jump right back into where you were a few months ago. But it, it's, really, it, it's really rewarding now because, obviously, DVD and, and particularly the Blu-ray and the quality of the picture and the, and the sound and everything is it's a lot it's so similar to what we've built in the in the cinematic experience that it's it's very rewarding to see it on the uh, on the blu-ray blu-ray dvd the return of xander case yes, hey, dj crusoe thank you so much for taking us inside the ropes we really appreciate your time hopefully we'll talk to you again
All right, great. Thank you so much. Nice to speak with you guys. Pleasure's ours. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, that cast is uh, really diverse, international. Your plug is okay? It's actually two plugs. It's a small plug that goes into a bigger plug, and I'm not too sure which one is kaput. Got to take it back there and oh, figure yeah, it out. It's like, you think motor vehicles easy to navigate? <laughs> it should be easier to go to motor vehicles. Like, can you fix that? Good. We'll be right back with more news, traffic, and weather. It's WJZ.